Hi, everybody. Let's talk about the dark side of Amber Rose and why everything went left on the taping of College Hill, which ended up leading to other people suing them. How it all went down. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about this man that's suing BET for $2 million for false advertising. According to him, he's saying that BET promoted the scene on College Hill in which Amber Rose gets into a fight with Jocelyn Hernandez. Ultimately, they did not air the fight. This is what has him so upset. Everyone wanted to see this fight. Now, as terrible as that might sound on paper, we all know drama sells. The more fights you show, the higher the ratings are. It is what it is, people. I didn't invent the rules. But I feel like it is important to talk about what pushed Amber Rose buttons so bad that she actually put her hands on Jocelyn Hernandez. Well, in order to find that out, we have to travel back in her past from the very beginning. Amber Rose was born on October 24th, 1983 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Her mother is Cap Verdean. And Cap Verde is an island country that is located in the Central Atlantic Ocean. And although it's an island in Africa, during slavery, most of the island was mixed with either French or Italian descent. So the people are pretty much Creole, very much similar to the people in Louisiana here in the United States. Therefore, there are many shades of Africans in this country. Some can be medium brown tone like me, or they can get very, very light like the Miss Beautiful Tina Knowles. And the lighter you are, the more you can pass for white. So because there were so many members in Amber's family that could pass for white, that's what the family decided to do. That means they never even acknowledged their African side. They wanted everyone to think that they were just white people. So their dark side was always swept under the carpet. They never, ever talked about it. And although Amber's mother, she doesn't quite look white to me, but she could pass for another nationality. And I'm sure that's okay with her. She wanted to be anything but black. Being black was always the family secret. Now, Amber's father is a Caucasian man of Irish and Italian descent. So growing up, Amber always identified as being white. And although she identified as white, growing up, she really gravitated to the black culture. And some would even go as far as to say that's why she shaved her head. So she could blend in with the black culture, but she always had to keep the family secret. Now, here's the funny thing. Black people never treated Amber like she was white because most african American go by the one drop rule. If you have one drop of black blood in you, you are black. We treat Beyonce and Tina Knowles like they're black. We treat Mariah Carey like she's black. And that's just how it is. So ultimately, this left Amber very confused. She could not tell anybody that she had any bl black in her blood but everybody treated her black, but she had to say that she was white. She even did an interview with Oprah Winfrey. And in this interview, she said that none of her family came to her wedding with Wiz Khalifa. Now, in this interview, she said, with my family, they feel like they have more superiority or are better than African-Americans because we're Creole and we have culture. She even teared up in this interview because she went on to say, imagine a three-year-old trying to make sense out of all of this. She would go on to say that that's something she had to battle for her entire life. She said, I am angry that my family is like that. And they want to pass for white so bad they raised my mom and my uncles and my aunts to not fully know their culture. Now, rumor has it is that Amber begged for that interview to never air again. And mysteriously, it's nowhere on the internet. I checked everywhere. I even went to a boss up website in which it said this video is now private. She would do interviews in which she would say that she wasn't black. I do not consider myself a black woman. Absolutely not. And then black people say, well, what are you? Because you don't look white. 
Now, this really upset a lot of African Americans. They felt that we're good enough for you to hang around, but not good enough for you to claim that we're part of your culture. Even with that kind of pressure on her, the best Amber could do was admit that she was of mixed race. How does it feel to be biracial and to have that identity like so often called into question? Um, it's irritating as being multiracial, um, a lot of people expect you to pick and choose a side. I did an interview and they were like, so do you consider yourself a black woman? Mm -hmm. And I was like, no. And the internet cut it off right at that point. I said, whoa! I embrace all of my culture. We don't have to pick and choose a side. That's what makes racism alive. So now let's fast forward to College Hill Celebrity Edition Season 2, where they're sitting in class and Jocelyn brings up the issue of race. Traditional Western beauty sucks. <laughs> I hate to say it for the whitey whites. Ooh, Jocelyn. Are we gonna white people? Uh, this Amber, we got a little white person in here, but she's mixed though. To like say something mm -hmm. that is not appealing to like, let's say a black person, mm -hmm. I would then be white in that moment. Interesting. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then if I say something that doesn't appeal to a white person, then I'm black in that moment. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You give me so much more black than white, though. Like, I, she just gives me... But, it, but what well, I'm well, saying is, Josh, like, even white, what though. you did earlier by, like, singling me out in class... I didn't single you out. Listen, if you felt like I singled you out, I apologize. I didn't mean to I do mean, that. I I appreciate that. I consider that. you a black person like myself. A lot of people do that to me. They're like, okay, she's Spanish, she's not black. When you say, like, the whiteies, and then you turn around and look at me... It's a joke. It was just there. I just seen you. I just turned around and look at that. Stop being so sensitive, because you and I are very cool. So for you to Yeah, but that, it's not about being sensitive. Well, you are being sensitive. No, but if you're but not you're a mixture... You're, you're not white, though. You're black. My father me, is white, though. Okay, but to me, to me, your mother's But your that's mother's not black. about you. It's okay, about me. It is about me when I feel like saying what the fuck I want to say. You can't check me on that. And if you go and check me, then check me. Okay, I checked you. I'm but checking you, you but, now. Yeah, but you're not, because I don't give a fuck about how you're well, I don't give a fuck either way. Because, because, because I can say the same thing, thing about you. I don't consider you a white person. So that's the thing. But it's not about what you white. consider. You're that's the whole you're point. You're mixed like me. You're mixed like, you know what's your problem? Your problem is that you really want to be a white girl. Let's just get down to the point. Jocelyn! No, 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 no. No? No, Professor. Let's get down to the point. Jocelyn. Your problem is that you really don't even want to be black. Oh, oh quiet, baby, Jocelyn. quiet, baby, quiet, oh, baby. Jocelyn. And there it is. Jocelyn brought out the family secret, and Amber didn't know how to handle it. She lost it. Now, that led to the fight that BET advertised over and over and over again. They kept saying, wait until you see this big fight. It's going to be a big thing. Now, here's the problem. They had to edit the fight out for a number of reasons. The fight was extremely volatile and would not pass any censors. Remember people, Jocelyn, that's what she does best. She knows how to fight. I got into a fight because we was in a fucking classroom. Tell us who it was. We so, tell listen, I'm gonna tell you later. <laughs> somebody, no I'm not. Somebody tried to attack, somebody tried to attack me and I motherfucking put their motherfucking head through that glass. Like I said, this fight was not going to pass any censors whatsoever. And not only that, the rumor is Amber asked producers to edit the scene. And not because she got her head bashed against the glass window, it was because she was talking about race issues. She still has her family that wants to identify as white. Today, in 2023, some Creoles still want to pass for white. And at the end of the day, if her family wants everyone to think that they're white, I could see her doing something like that. So they thought all around it would be better to edit the scene. And I just showed you the edited clip. But this brought on even more problems. Because the show is aired on BET and they have a predominantly African American audience, they were really upset. They felt like Amber was not accepting her black side. So she tried to do a little damage control by releasing this statement. And it says, Bruh, the internet is remedial as F. Y'all know exactly what I was saying as a mixed person about not fitting in anywhere on both sides. Now y'all want to act like I hate being black? Get the F out of here. Then I'm wrong when I feel like a victim. The internet is trying to bully me because I'm black and white. Uh, WTF is wrong with y'all. I never denounce my blackness. I don't understand where people are getting that from. 
a five second clip, watch the whole interview. And this angered people even more. They really want Amber to come out and say, I am a black woman. I have black blood in me. And she's not going to do that. And there's even more problems on that set. Because a lot of people feel like BET used that clip to get them to sign up for this app so they could see what actually took place during the fight, only to find out that they edited it out but took their money. People are outraged. To the point that a law student, his name is James Camper, he decided to sue BET for $2 million for false advertising. He said he paid to see that fight. He wanted to see the fight. That's what he paid for. And BET reneged on their end of the deal. They did not show the fight. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. He's really going to sue somebody for that. But then I head over to the comment section and hundreds of people agree with him. They're saying, maybe if it was free and I didn't have to spend my money on this app, maybe I wouldn't say anything or be so upset. But we had to pay money for something that we did not get to see. Now, naysayers, let's really think about what he's saying. If he paid to see a Floyd Mayweather fight and they didn't show it, he would be upset. So this is the same premise here. So there you have it, people. That's all that's going on on the set of College Hill Celebrity Edition Season 2. They're looking at lawsuits, and then in the court of public opinion, will Amber Rose ever come forward and say that she's black? And does she even have to? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.